Hey everyone, today I created this look using the new Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. In my last video, I did first impressions, swatches, and a review of this palette. I will leave a link in the description box below. So I'm first going to start off by priming my lids with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Mine is in the shade NC15, and I'm just buffing this all over my lid with a Morphe M173 brush. To set that in place, I'm going to go into my Sephora Pro Palette and pick up the shade Porcelain, which is just a matte white eyeshadow. Next I'm going to pick up the shade Amy on a Morphe E27 brush and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm just going to buff this back and forth into my crease. I started off with just a little bit of product on my brush and then slowly built it up because the shadows are super pigmented. So next I'm going to pick up this purpley pink shade on my Sigma E25 brush which is just a flatter blending brush and I'm going to put this directly into my crease. I'm going to keep this shade lower than the previous one. Next I'm picking up this shade and I believe you pronounce it Eliza D, um, I'm not really sure though. And I'm going to put this directly into my crease with a pointed blending brush. This one is by Morphe. Now I'm going back in with that purpley pink color on the same Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to use this to blend out the colors. I'm also going to go back into the shade Amy with my fluffy blending brush and I'm going to use this to soften up the edges. Next I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on a Morphe M170-2 brush which is just a tiny lip brush and I'm going to use this to cut my crease. I really love the way cut creases look, they are just not one of my strong suits so I am definitely practicing this because I want to get a lot better at it. I'm just going to quickly fast forward through this because it took me forever and it's still not perfect, but that's okay. So for my lid, I'm first going to go in with the shade Ice, which is just a sparkly white eyeshadow. And I first sprayed my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to apply that on the inner third of my lid. Next I'm going to pick up the shade Rose Quartz on a Sigma E54 brush and I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lid. Then I'm going to pick up Pink Quartz and apply this to the outer third of my lid. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply a thin coat of my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Off camera I applied these Ardell Studio FX lashes and drew a thin line of my Kat Von D tattoo liner. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with all of the shades that I used in my crease, first starting out with the shade Amy, and I'm really going to smoke this out underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to apply that purpley pink shade, so as the colors get darker, the closer I'm going to apply them to my lower lash line. And for the lash shade, I'm going to apply this with a flat definer brush, this one is by Sigma. taking a clean brush and using it to blend everything out. Now I'm going to highlight my inner corner with the shade Ice. And lastly, I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to my bottom lashes. So yeah, that completes this look using the new Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. I am still loving this palette. These shadows are super pigmented and blend out so nicely. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching.